with the launch of Diablo 4 quickly approaching, I have five tips that you may or may not know before you start playing the game. Number one is going to be Elixir buffs. As you are playing the game, you will get to Kiva Shed where you will eventually get a priority quest to go see the alchemist to upgrade your potions. At that same alchemist, we will all have an opportunity to craft a battle elixir that provides 5% experience, which is very important. The crafted XP elixir will provide 5% additional experience and will last for 30 minutes. And that is important to keep it up at all times, especially when you are playing in a party. And speaking of Kievashad, as you are adventuring in the game, you will find Altars of Lilith. Altars of Lilith actually give you increased stats. As you explore them, as you find and claim the altars, you will get increased stats for all of your characters per season. Altars of Lilith do give you increased stats for all of your characters, and that happens every season. Claiming them multiple times will not give you increased stats for all of your characters. However, one thing to know as you are playing all the classes, claiming them will give you renown, which will continue to accumulate as you continue rolling new classes. And speaking of Altars of Lilith, one way to find them is by setting waypoints on the minimap. Now, Altars of Lilith are located all over the world of Diablo 4, and there are lots of them in Kiovashed. Here's a map you can check out, which reveals all the locations for the Altars of Lilith, which brings me to number three. Tip number three is a simple one, and that is providing yourself waypoints on the minimap so you never get lost. As you are playing and adventuring in the world of Diablo 4, one of the best ways to never get lost on your journey to your goal is by setting yourself a waypoint. Opening up the map, simply right click on the target location and that will provide you a nice little tracker in the upper right hand corner of the mini map. If you take a look at the mini map, you will see a line that will guide you exactly to where you want to go so you never get lost while you are adventuring. Tip number four is going to be Cursed Shrines. Now, just like regular shrines that provide us buffs and boons for our characters, not only to get stronger, but also tankier with more survivability, Cursed Shrines basically do the same thing, but they also summon a pool of monsters. So keep an eye on the Cursed Shrines. Make sure to check your minimap so you are not taken by surprise by the spawning pool of mobs. One way to know if the shrine is cursed or not is by looking at your minimap. If the icon is present, the shrine is not cursed. And if the icon is missing, the shrine is cursed, which means it will spawn extra mobs. So keep that in mind when you are tapping those. And that goes for health pools as well. And tip number five is gambling obols. Obols are found just by adventuring and slaying monsters in Diablo 4, and obols are very, very good, especially for gambling for legendary items. Now, one thing you might want to note here is as your character progresses, you do acquire more obols as you go, and obols are actually shared across all characters, so that is a very, very good thing. It is like blood shards in Diablo 3, they are shared. So once we have enough obols, more than we need for the current character we're playing, we can actually start a brand new character, gamble a bunch of items, and hope to get a couple of good legendaries that will synergize with your build. So those are the five quick tips in Diablo 4 before you start playing. Best of luck to you on your adventures, and I'll see you in game.